This week marks a really important anniversary in Thailand. On June 24th, 88 years ago, the kingdom transitioned from absolute monarchy to constitutional monarchy, the political system that is still in use today. The revolution led by Kanat Lasadon or the People's Party ended nearly 800 years of absolute rule under Thai kings. Here's a brief look at the revolution that changed the course of our nation. In 1926, Thailand, then known as Siam, was under the absolute rule of King Rama VII. The country's road to democracy, or whatever you'd call what we have now, started when seven Thais came together in Paris to discuss an idea for change. At a Parisian hotel on the 5th of February 1926, the five-day meeting concluded on a plan to transition Thailand into a constitutional monarchy. To join their group, they recruited students, military officers, civil servants, and others. One year later, in February 1927, a law student studying in Paris and the elected president of the group, Bridi Panom Yong, proposed calling themselves Kanat Lasadon. Six years later, Kanat Lasadon ushered the kingdom into a new age. Ahead of June 24, 1932, preparations were made for the seizure of power. However, one day earlier, on the 23rd of June, government agents caught wind of the plan. However, they were too slow to react. On June 24th, Kanat Rasadon launched a coup d'etat against the government of King Prashad Hippok. At the time, the king was away at his Huahin palace. Whilst in Bangkok, the revolutionaries arrested key officials and members of the royal household. Kanat Rasadon then sent a telegram to the king in Huahin, demanding for his majesty to accept the role of constitutional monarch and grant the Thai people a constitution. In order to avoid bloodshed, the king immediately agreed, bringing the one-day revolution to an end. The first constitution, a temporary one, was drafted in just three days. The first permanent one was enacted on December 10th, now celebrated as the Thai Constitution Day. The first parliament meeting was held on the 28th of June. The 70 parliamentarians were made up of 31 representatives chosen by Kanat Lasadon and 39 representatives from the ranks of senior civil servants. The parliament named Praya Mano Pakon Nitpit Thada, Thailand's first prime minister. Kanat Rasadon composed of two factions. The civilian faction was led by Bridi, while the military faction was led by Officer Black Pibun Songkram. Through the years, the two factions would compete for power as Thailand switches back and forth between democracy and dictatorship. A familiar theme, as we all know. Kanat Rasadon would play a major role in Thai politics for the next 15 years until a military coup in 1947. So it's now been 88 years since Thailand transitioned to a constitutional monarchy system. How democratic we truly have become remains up for debate, however. What do you think? How democratic do you think Thailand truly is? Let us know in the comments section below. And that's all I got for you today. Thank you so much for joining in. For more news, features, and videos, visit worldwideweb.disrupt.co. From Bangkok, I'm Tara Kamal Tanabeth, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Yes.